now let us discuss here about you express the boolean function as a product of max terms so this is the expression which is given so here we are performing product operation on the max terms so max term means we need to perform or operation or operation on the variables or literals and each max term should contain all the variables if we take the first two term b and c are missing whereas if we consider the second term all the variables are present or convert pos to canonical or standard pos canonical or standard pos means it is a product of max terms where each max term should contains all the variables max term means or operation will be performed on the variables uh, so this is the expression which is given if we consider the first two term b and c are missing so in order to obtain b <coughs> let us add 0 likewise in order to obtain c add 0 why because we have a formula called a plus 0 equal to a only so by adding 0 the result won't changes uh, if we consider the second term all the variables are present so there is no need to add any 0 next in order to obtain b replace this 0 by b b dash why because we have a formula called a a dash equal to 0 so replace the 0 by b b dash likewise in order to obtain c replace this 0 by c c dash uh, next write the next term as it is next uh, here we have a plus b b bar plus c c bar if two terms are missing uh, so in this term i am sorry in this term two variables are missing if two variables are missing then we have to follow like this let us write the given term next next first write b and c first variable in the first term and second variable here okay b plus c next right combine b with c dash so a plus b plus c dash next combine b dash and c so a plus b dash plus c next b dash plus c dash a plus b dash plus c dash and what is the last term a plus b plus c so if two literals or variables are missing then we need to write all the combinations b b plus c next b c bar next b bar c next b c b c b c bar b bar c b bar c bar let's check whether any terms are repeating or not if any terms are repeating then write only once why because we have a formula called a plus a equal to a only okay uh, a plus b plus c if we observe here a plus b plus c it is repeating twice so write only once so a plus b plus c so next one a plus b plus c only once next one a plus b dash plus c only once next a plus b dash plus c dash so this is also occurred only once so if we observe this function this is in the form of canonical or standard pos only if we want we can write in terms of decimal numbers uh, for that purpose we know that in product of sum zero represents actual variable whereas one represents complement of the variable so zero means actual variable that means a whereas 1 means complement of the variable a bar here 0 means actual variable okay a means actual variable actual variable means 0 actual variable means 0 0 actual variable 0 whereas complement of the variable means what 1 complement means 1 complement means 1 uh, and then now write in terms of the pi why because we know that pi represents product operation 
uh, here uh, we, we have product operation. Next, max term is represented with the help of capital M. Uh, what is the smallest decimal number here? 0, 3 bull 0 in decimal notation is 0. Next, 0, 0, 1 in decimal notation is 1. Uh, next, uh, uh, if we observe here, this is 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Why? Because C bar means, uh, C bar means what? 1 only. Okay. 0, 1, 0 means 2. 0, 1, 1 means 3. So, this is uh, the corresponding uh, output here. Uh, in this way, we can represent uh, uh, the given, uh, we can convert uh, uh, POS to canonical or standard POS.